Hey everyone, my name is Tara and I am back at the Starnberg Museum with Paleontology Collections Manager Christina Bird. She's going to tell me about some interesting fossils. What fossil are we talking about this week? This week we are talking about the famous fish within a fish. Really? I've seen that one a bunch, but I never really knew anything about it. It was discovered in 1952 by George F. Sternberg in Gove County, Kansas. It is considered the most complete specimen of its kind. Cool! How did it end up like that? So that is the interesting story. Let's dig into the history of this fossil. Approximately 90 million years ago, Kansas was covered by a shallow inland sea. It was filled with many different types of fish and reptiles. In this sea lived the big fish in our story, a 14-foot-long creature called Zephactinus. The the Zephactinus? Yes, it is often called the bulldog fish because of the smashed look of its face. <laughs> That's funny. In the ocean was also a smaller fish called Gillicus. As you can imagine, the Zephactinus was hungry one day. It spied the Gillicus. What do you think happened next? Did it eat a little fish? The Zephactinus ate the Gillicus. Unfortunately, it was too much for our Zephactinus. He choked on the fish and died. Oh no! He should take smaller bites. It is thought that a storm or landslide happened quickly after the death of the two fish. This covered the bodies with sediment preserving them. How do you know it happened that way? There are a couple different ways. One way is that the ribs enclose the small fish within the larger fish. This means the gillicus had to be inside the Zephactinus's body. Another way is that there is a very little evidence of stomach acid on the smaller skeleton, which suggests that the two would have had to die quickly. There is also no evidence of scavenging on the bones, meaning they would have had to be covered very quickly after death to prevent other animals from eating them. Wow! Science is so cool! You can piece together the death of something that lived millions of years ago! I want to be able to do that! You can if you keep up your lessons! I can't wait for the next one!